Hello, and welcome to our video on how to properly and safely upgrade the processor inside your computer. To determine which CPUs are compatible with your motherboard, it's a good idea to check the motherboard manufacturer's website. You can find a list of compatible CPUs. Note the model numbers or stepping numbers after the brand name and subbrand. Before working inside the PC, it's critical to turn it off and disconnect the power. Next, we want to open the case. Typically, the case has a cover on one of its sides that is designed to be easily removed. To help prevent electrostatic discharge, wear an anti-static bracelet and attach the grounding clip to the frame of your computer case. Typically, the CPU sits under its own cooling fan. Some cooling fans, like the one you see here, can be removed without tools. Now we use the lever to release the CPU, and we can pick it up and set it aside, and then we can insert the new one. Remember, the shiny bits connect to the shiny bits. Also mind the notches along the sides. The CPU only goes in one way. Either the top of the CPU itself or the metal plate on the cooler should have a thin layer of thermal paste. Now we'll put the cooler back on top of the CPU. Reconnect the power and turn the computer on. Observe the CPU cooling fan and make sure it starts spinning right away. While it's booting, you can press a key, such as delete, it depends on your BIOS, to get into your BIOS setup and take a look at the CPU temperature. When we're done with the BIOS, we can exit and the computer will reboot. Once you're in Windows, you can check out msinfo32.exe and see your new processor. Have fun! While the credits are playing, I'll tell you a computer joke. How many computer programmers does it take to screw in a light bulb? The answer is none. It's a hardware problem.